welcome back to the channel happy holidays happy new year in advance this is gonna be the last vlog on this channel in 2022 and i'm gonna bring y'all along with me in a realistic day in my life we're gonna chit chat i'm gonna catch y'all up on some things a little bit of cooking i'm gonna unbox the new camera with y'all and talk about like my camera journey just bring y'all along with what I am doing. But before we hop into all of that, I wanna share with y'all a couple new pieces that I have from Ana Luisa. If you're not familiar, I have been wearing Ana Luisa's jewelry for a very, very long time. Um, there's a pair of their earrings that I think I wear like every single day, <laughs> as well as their necklace. They are a sustainable company that has high quality jewelry pieces that are actually good for the environment. And one thing I've loved is the durability of their pieces, the quality and the message behind it. Let me show you some of the new pieces that I got. First are these Ashley double earrings. Super freaking cute, not too big, not too little, and still dainty. Next, it is this mama necklace that is so cute. This is the perfect gift for your friend that is a mama, your own mother. Super dainty and understated. I love that it says mama. That's what I call mama, mama. Not mom, not ma, mama. <laughs> now this is probably my favorite very pretty also dainty understated it's given hair and bone in high school with a more feminine touch now this is a perfect subtle pop of color and has the green adventuring cubic zirconia i think that green is beautiful beautiful with the gold and lastly this bracelet here nice kind of chunky not too chunky I love the attention to detail there. Just a nice everyday whenever bracelet. All right, so those are my new pieces. I have my original pieces back on. If you are interested in checking out Ana Luisa, I highly recommend them. I will leave all of their information in the description box below. And of course, I am always looking for extra savings for y'all. So click the link in the description box below. They have pieces starting from $39 to more high end. And of course, I always try to give y'all savings. So if you click the link in the description box below, you can get an extra 20% off by using Shondaland 20. I dare you look at all my videos in the past year, maybe even more. I'm wearing an Ana Luisa piece. <laughs> I don't share it if I don't genuinely love it. So if you want to treat yourself or you need that perfect gift, make sure you go ahead and check them out. Now let's get into this vlog. Good morning, darling. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I have already recorded this intro on the DSLR camera that I can't see myself while I'm recording, okay? A good chunk of an intro, just welcoming us back to this. And I was out of focus the entire time. I was blurry, you could barely see me. And this is why I need to pull out my new camera, rip the band-aid off so we can move forward. So heads up in this vlog, we're gonna unbox and get into the vibes of the new camera, y'all. Welcome back to the vlog. I was gonna call this a day in my life. Let's call this an unmotivated day in my life. I would love to just be like, oh, morning coffee, meditation, um, uh, which a lot of my days are like that. But right now I am, I'm in a stage of just being unmotivated, really like having to force myself up and out so that I can literally create the energy that's gonna welcome the energy I want to be in, okay? So I might call this an unmotivated day in my life. When I woke up this morning, child, my eyes was closed. And tell me if anybody can relate, okay? Eyes closed. It was probably like six something in the morning and I'm like, oh my God, this bed is so comfortable. But I looked at my phone and it was six. So I'm like, okay. I said I was gonna wake up this morning, work out, start my day. But the sleepy me was like, girl, who said that? 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 And I'm like, we said that. But she's like, girl, listen, 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 okay? You got all day. This bed is warm and comfy. You deserve your rest. 
close those eyes, go back to bed. What's the rush? And this is like a mental conversation I have often like my entire life. The sleepy me, she has no logic. She doesn't care about goals. She doesn't remember what we need to do. All she cares about is what is convenient and comfortable in the moment. But today I had to shut her up because I got things to do. So don't worry, this isn't going to be an oh, what was me unmotivated day. But look, while some of my days are very aesthetic, very uplifting, motivating, productive, a lot of my days lately have not been okay so watch me push through if you're struggling with motivation getting up and just getting stuff done as simple as it sounds it happens and some days you just not gonna be motivated and you don't feel like doing it it's okay but you know what nobody's gonna do it for you so you kind of have to get up and go through the motions to get done of what you need to get done so let's push through i hope this vlog helps somebody just stand up get up and just complete the promises that you made to yourself i know i'm gonna feel better at the end now i am a little bit more awake because like i said i've already recorded this intro okay but i'm about to get a run in step one before i do anything today i want to get my heart rate going i want to get that out of the way so that in my mind i'm not constantly thinking I gotta work out I gotta work out I gotta work out and I just know that's what my body needs so that's what I am about to do let's talk about this hair real quick y'all just real quick because I just want to say I want to say that of the almost three years of having my hair locked not once have I had a style in my hair now once have I had a style in my hair and this to some might not even be considered a style but I'm very, very, look, when it comes to my hair, very, very minimal. Like I am, I want my hair to be free. I want just a retwist and let me be free. A retwist, let me be natural, let me be. So this is so different for me. When I went home for Thanksgiving, I'm like, let me spice it up, try something new. And I had her do two strand twists. Now when she first did this, it wasn't that I didn't like it. It was so weird and different because my hair is longer than this, first of all, okay? And I've just reached a length that I really, really love. I'm gonna put like a video of my hair right before I got this. I didn't think it was gonna like shrink my hair. It did trigger me a bit. It took me back to the shrinkage life of being a natural girl. If you know, you know. But it definitely shrunk my hair shorter than my actual length. When I first got it done, it was kind of like, you know, like this a little bit, like away from my face. Now it's been almost two weeks in a couple of days. I will say, literally, I have not been wrapping my hair. I'm not proud of that. But look how long it's lasting. So definitely this lasts longer for my locked girls, which I know I haven't given y'all a lock update in a very long time. Let me know if y'all still want that. Like, I just feel like nobody's even interested in hearing about locks. Let me know. But... One thing I'm learning, your retwist is gonna last a lot longer. With the two strand twist, after time it does drop and looks a lot more natural. I'm still not like completely in love with it. Tell me what y'all think. I've been holding off on untwisting it because when I untwist it, it's supposed to be a whole nother level of like the crinky curly and the volume and the fun I've never experienced it on my lock dirty so i'm excited about that what do you think about two strand twist if you're locked what you think what you think it's looking like here i don't know i just wanted to mention that because this is new for me and it's starting to feel more comfortable i'm already ranting but you know what it really is what it is i have been in my head when it comes to content because lately for me YouTube has been feeling so copy and paste. Not only has it been feeling like copy and paste to like watch, I don't resonate with that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so creating content in like a copy paste type atmosphere 
has not been inspiring for me, if that makes sense. And I felt myself just kind of like overthinking like the format and the way to do this and the way to do that. No, what you're gonna get is me picking up my camera and giving you me, especially on the vlog channel, because we're gonna open up the camera. I'm also gonna record some for the main channel, bring some Christmas vibes. It's gonna be what it's gonna be on both channels organically. No format, no blueprint, no copy paste how I started, how I always been, and what it will continue to be. I am gonna shut up right now though, cause I got things to do. So I'm gonna work out, sweat it out, get the first check off of my to-do list and I'm gonna come back to y'all. We are gonna get off of this iPhone and be productive today. We're gonna shake off these unmotivated vibes, the sluggishness, regardless of how I'm feeling. We are gonna make the best of today and turn around those vibes. Thank y'all for being here. I missed y'all. <laughs> I'll see y'all a little bit. You know what the easiest thing to do is? Nothing. <sighs> okay. My house is sort of a mess. Kind of. But don't worry. We'll get it together. <sighs> okay. Workout is complete. I needed it. Okay. I couldn't even finish them out. I'm going to be honest with you. My legs start itching. And that happens when I'm like sedentary for too long. And I have not been working out. It's a whole thing. So I have to like slowly work my way back into working out. Um, yeah. Does anybody else experience that? I've looked it up and it's like got something to do with like your glands reopening. It's a real weird thing that actually makes me itch even more because it sounds kind of creepy. But yeah, when I don't work out for a long time and I try to like run for longer periods of time, my legs itch aggressively to where I can't have to stop, pace myself, start, stop, start, stop, sometimes stop completely. But as I start to work out like more often and consistently, it goes away. So yeah, if you deal with that, it's actually something that can happen when your body is not used to like perspiring and actually moving the way that it should. <sighs> I already feel better y'all. So let's keep going with the day. You see it. Okay, quick tech intermission while we switch over our technology. Here is the camera that I have been using temporarily. This is my Nikon D3200. This is like my first baby, my first camera that I purchased before I knew anything about video. I think it was like on clearance at Target. It was one of those like really, really good finds. It's amazing quality like i still love this camera but it's not for <laughs> vlogging it's also not even for like recording video because as i focus and like you know zoom in and things like that you can hear it in the lens that's why some of the videos previously you could hear you know as things focus it's just not functional for a youtube vlogging video capturing type of content but i still keep it because it does still serve a purpose for like pictures and things like that very very good quality still i probably got this like probably like eight years ago, give or take. Yeah, it also doesn't have a mirrorless camera, right? So I can't see myself as I shoot. Look, some people don't mind that. I need to see myself. I need to know that that 20, 30 minute hour long footage is in the frame, is that it's recording. It hasn't stopped. There's a lot of things that go into this creating thing. You'd be surprised the stuff we go through. So that's why I had to sit this one down and kind of upgrade. Now look, I know y'all gonna laugh. I know y'all gonna roast me in the comments. Y'all gonna have things to say about what I'm about to show y'all. But if you don't realize by now that for me, I don't have to have the latest and greatest. If it works, it works. 
I like to save my money and delegate my money. Maybe I could have $50,000 in the bank, but if that $50,000 ain't for a new camera, I'll make my camera work. Um, unless it forces me not to, which is where we are now. This is the Sony A5000. This was my upgrade from the Nikon. Lighter, smaller. It has the flip up camera so I can see myself. You see that? Let, let's get into it, okay? This camera been through some things, okay? Now this isn't the lens that it comes with typically. This is the 1855 optical steady shot, I think, yeah. This is the 1855 lens. It's a lot bigger than the one that actually comes with it. The one that comes with it, so when you purchase it um, with a lens, it is the 1650 optical steady shot lens. If you follow me on Instagram, if you work with me, if you go by the name Cassie, because she has literally sent me her lens that broke to see if I'm able to fix it to work on mine. Y'all, I have disassembled, reassembled, repaired, fixed this lens more times than I can remember. This one is beyond repair. The last one that I took out, this does not work. It's broken. When I kind of got tired of purchasing replacements, fixing it, I went ahead and just got a different lens. I also have another lens upstairs for the Sony camera. I'm not bringing it down. We're not going too far. I'm just trying to give you the quick little journey so that we can go ahead and switch over and move forward. But yeah, this was kind of like a temporary lens. I still loved the original lens that came with it. It did what I needed it to do. It's just a very fragile lens. I mentioned this because ironically, this is the lens that comes with the kit that I purchased. So I'm just gonna have to be mindful and be a lot more delicate. I am rough with my stuff. I'm not proud of it, but I really, really am. I'm like, I like material things, but I'm not materialistic to where I'm baby and stuff. It's like, it's stuff. So I'm working on it. Um, so I'm gonna be more mindful with the new lens, right? So I'm gonna be able to be reunited back with my lens. But this camera, the lens is no longer the problem. This camera has fallen so many times. I have just treated this camera terribly. I will admit it, y'all. This right here is literally blue painter's tape that I added to the top of this camera. I literally added it there because this part was broken. I added it <laughs> I added it there because this part was broken. And when I'm recording in the sun, I didn't want it to like <laughs> melt anything or tear anything up. Y'all, this is terrible, I know, but I'm just keeping it real, okay? Y'all ready for the rest? Are you ready? Okay, the bottom. Ciao. Look at this. Yeah, parts are just falling off. I think it's probably something else. Even on the inside where the memory card goes, it's like sometimes it latches, sometimes it doesn't. Battery doesn't hold and it's just, it no longer even, it's done. I've tried all of my lenses. It just, she's done. She is being put to rest. So let's get into the new baby. Okay, so I went with the Sony ZV-E10 just because it is similar to what I'm already familiar with. I'm gonna be able to interchangeably use my different lenses if I need to for different situations. I'm able to go back to the lens that I like, but also a few small, but really, really, really big things that I've kind of been dealing with but have been updated on this camera. For example, my A5000 only records up to 30 minutes and technically like 29 minutes and 30 seconds, it cuts off. So while I'm recording, I am constantly having to look at the camera, see if it's still recording, go back, restart it. It also overheats like crazy. So sometimes I have to record for 10, 15 minutes, y'all. Sit down, wait for it to like cool down, the experience has just been very ghetto, okay? It's an older camera. It's to be expected, especially with how I've treated it. But just overall, this is going to allow me to vlog, record a lot more fluidly and more stress-free. So let's open her up, y'all. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. This is not like meant to be super techy or like in-depth, but I just wanna kind of show y'all because I know that a lot of y'all are creatives yourself. And although I always have my equipment in my description box I have for years, you know, maybe this is helpful for somebody. So 
So this is for the microphone to kind of help with the wind and the sound. I think some people call it a dead cat. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what this is called, but you can clip this on the top of the camera. Helps with the sound. Comes with the Sony camera strap. Comes with your good old USB. Charger adapter. Battery, which is the same battery that I used before. Here is the camera, y'all. Okay. Okay, heaviness, very, very similar. It's it's so similar. It's so similar to my A5000, y'all. Y'all see that? It's actually a little more bulky over here, but not in a crazy way. Like I said, this is the exact same lens, y'all. Exact same lens. This one works. So let me put this lens out of the way. So here are the cameras in comparison. It is a bit more wide and bulky. The top controls are just so much more simplistic, which is what I want and what I like. I'm gonna get into more like cinematography and like actual in-depth video and photography, but that's gonna be with a different camera in the future. This is just my in-between, straight up, to the point, easy to use vlog and content creating camera. Look, this doesn't even say close, like it's popping open. The controls on the back, honestly, are almost exact, but not exactly. I'm so used to this coming up and just seeing myself above me. It is gonna be a little different with this coming out to the side. I do love that it turns and I'm able to close it so that my screen does not get all scratched up, okay? The top shoe is where I'm able to put my accessories. So for example, here is the mic accessory, boom, just clips right on here. Boom, 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 right? There's also third party attachments that you can add like lighting and things like that, that you can put on top of this shoot as well. So that's the camera. I just wanted to kind of give you a comparison. With it, I went ahead and got this Sony tripod, y'all. This tripod also comes with a 4K 64 gig memory card. I needed to get a new memory card anyway. It wasn't like a Black Friday deal or anything, but they did have a bundle, which saves you when you buy it all together. I really love the quality of Sony. I have always loved the quality of Sony since being a PlayStation user. This is the case that it comes with for travel. Boom, boom, boom. Very heavy, very solid. Allows you to kind of use it as like a selfie stick, but you can also kind of sit it down, use it as a tripod. Boom, boom, boom. If you put it on the tripod, this is very, very new to me, so. You see how I'm doing this? I'm so used to the struggle. This right here actually just tightens as you do this right here. So, all right, boom. So we got that on there. Hold on. This is what I was curious about. There's a button here. I don't know why I was just being extra. So with this button, I was kind of interested to know if I could do this, which I can, because what I want to start doing is using my camera for Instagram content too. So boom, like for my reels and it's portrait versus landscape. So that's, I'm excited about that. Okay. This is Bluetooth. I'm able to start it from here and not having to reach over on the camera. You got your zoom in, zoom out. You can take a picture, lock it. I also believe that when I go live, I'm able to do it directly from my camera without having external devices just for better quality. There's a lot of like small things that are really big things when it comes to content creating in this camera. So that's why I chose this one. Let me put the memory card in it, turn it on, and just kind of give y'all a iPhone footage versus this camera footage. All right, so boom, I have my headphones in. So my audio should be um, fine over here on the iPhone. It's kind of better than it normally would be if I didn't have on headphones but my voice should be coming from here. Anyways, this is this is a nice, sturdy, solid piece of equipment, y'all. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. I love the matte black. It just feels very solid and good quality. Okay, so I got a little bit of charge. I'm going to try to get something for y'all and then I'm gonna put it down to charge it. Let's record. How do I sound? How do I sound? This is gonna be strange, not looking at myself to the right. I'm just so used to it being here and easier to see. Let's walk around a little bit, hold on. I don't know, I can't really tell the difference right now. 
honestly, I feel like it's kind of close to me. So I'm gonna kind of like play with it a little bit, but we're on the new camera, okay? We're on the new camera. See how we focus. Let's see how well it focuses on its own. All right, yes, yes. We're gonna let go of talking about the camera. What did y'all get for Black Friday? Did y'all do any Black Friday shopping? Let me know. For a second, I started to go down the rabbit hole and I was like, oh, Walmart has this TV for hella dirt cheap. The guest bedroom could use a TV. And then it started to go into like all these other things that I, would be nice to have, but I really don't need. So I didn't really do any like, I literally actually didn't do any Black Friday shopping. I was back home in Kansas City during Black Friday. So yeah, thought about it for a split second before leaving. When I was there, I didn't even consider Black Friday shopping, y'all. My funds are t already tied into 2023. Like that's, my mind is already in next year when it comes to like finances, budgets, goals, and stuff like that. So we skipped Black Friday. On Cyber Monday though, I did get a couple of things. Um, stuff that's not here yet. It's literally just like random, regular stuff that I'm going to be needing. Probably some hauls coming down the line. One thing did come that I got on Black Friday was my perfume re-up. This is very sexy. I keep this. I, I have kept this on hand for many, many years, y'all. Let me, look. A quick perfume plug, okay? I'm not a woman of many scents. I don't like to smell like a lot of things, but I have a few staples. This is not your trendy, most talked about, popular fragrance, but when I tell you if you have never smelled this and you are a lover of more of like the sensual, seductive, when I say sexy, like it's cliche that it's called very sexy this gives very it's not too strong but it is powerful enough to kind of linger throughout the day this is very sensual this is very feminine yet not the fruity not your floral grown woman when you're walking around and you have this on people will double take and a lot will say, oh, what are you wearing? The other day, some kids came to my door and were selling candy. And the moment I opened the door, he was like, you smell good. <laughs> and I had this on. We don't want to attract little boys or anything. But it's just one of those scents. So I always recommend it. Always recommend it. When I'm running low, when I run out, I go and get more. Those who know me know this already. Very sexy by Victoria's Secret, by the way. I just left Lowe's, Dollar Tree, and a couple of stores getting some things for like the Christmas vibes. So I'm gonna pause on this and start recording for the main channel. What I probably will end this vlog with is just to cook with me. I gotta cook tonight. I have one more meal of my HelloFresh, not sponsored, but I do like the simplicity and easiness of those meal kits. So I have one more. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I cook that. I'm not gonna go through anybody's drive-thru. I have made a commitment to eat what I cook. So it might be a montage. I might come back and kind of chit chat with y'all while I do it. Um, but yeah, I'll come back and I'll cook with y'all over here with the vlog. I think the last one is like salmon, green beans, and potato wedges. I don't want no green beans. So I'll probably just make the salmon and the potato wedges. But we'll get into that then. The day is getting away from me and so I don't get off track. Let me head over to the main channel. If you're not following me over there, get over there because we're gonna start getting into some cheer, y'all. Some some good cheer, budget-friendly cheer, DIY aesthetics and all the things. You, you already know, okay? I'll see you in a little bit.
right y'all that is it for this vlog i hope that you enjoyed coming along with me i gotta stop recording for both channels in one day that way i can really bring you along with everything that i'm doing but i hope that you enjoyed unboxing the new camera with me i hope i shared some tips that are helpful when it comes to cameras i hope you enjoyed the chit chat the catch up if you did please give this video a thumbs up it really helps the channel I talked a lot, so comment below all of your thoughts on all of the things that we discussed in this vlog. And of course, do not forget to click the link in my description box below. Check out Anna Luisa. They are running a lot of good deals for the holidays and I don't want y'all to miss out. I wanna thank y'all so much for being here. Get excited for 2023. I'm not making any specific promises, but just know that on the vlog channel, we're leveling up, so get ready. <laughs> Have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see y'all in the new year.